Breaking news in Flint this morning, a state police trooper said, quote, I've been shot following an incident outside a market. That's our top story on today's Workplace Webcast. I'm Jared Smith. In a press release, the Michigan State Police announced that at 1222 a.m. this morning, state troopers were investigating an altercation in the parking lot of Brothers Market located on Saginaw Street. Troopers made contact with one of the subjects while the second subject fled on foot. The second trooper was in pursuit. During the foot chase, the pursuing trooper was shot. The suspect ran into a wooded area where he was later apprehended. The firearm carried by the suspect was recovered. The trooper, an 11 year veteran, is stationed at the Flint Post and assigned to the Flint City Directed Patrol Detail. He was transported to the hospital where he was treated for a gunshot wound and released. The suspect, a 34 year old Flint resident who was wanted on an outstanding felony warrant for carrying a concealed weapon, was arrested and lodged. At the Genesee County Jail, there is audio of the 911 call that the trooper made saying he's been shot courtesy of Flint Police Operations, and we have that link on our website, mynbcnews.com. We will have continuing team coverage of this story throughout the day. Authorities reported on Tuesday that a pregnant jailed Mount Morris resident was transported to the hospital so she could deliver her child and then was sent right back to prison. Alicia Hall is accused on charges that she took pictures while her husband sexually abused their then six-month-old infant daughter. She is currently being held in Genesee County Jail. Elsewhere today, thousands across the nation are lacing up their shoes. It's National Start Walking Day. The American Heart Association is encouraging everyone to start walking at least 30 minutes a day. And here locally, I'm live We'll be holding a walk around downtown Flint later today in support of the cause. Several NBC 25 staff members, including yours truly, will be on hand, so we hope to see you down there. In sports, more Michigan athletes are in trouble with the law. This week it was first running back Mikel LaShore, now Lions defensive tackle Nick Fairley. Fairley was arrested near his home in Mobile, Alabama yesterday on a charge of marijuana possession. Authorities say Fairley was pulled over after citizens called to complain that his Cadillac Escalade was speeding through a lower middle class neighborhood. Police say his car reeked of marijuana and they found a small amount of the drug in his ashtray. Fairley was later released on $1,000 bail. And news out of East Lansing where Michigan State big man Derek Nix has been suspended indefinitely after he was also arrested for marijuana related offenses. Nix was pulled over earlier this week and charged with operating a vehicle with the presence of drugs. Spartans head coach Tom Izzo says Nix's future with the team is quote in serious jeopardy. That's today's top stories of the day from news and sports. Now it's time to head over to the Weather Center where Janet Vandenwinkel has your forecast. Janet. Thanks, Jared, and it's a perfect day to get out and walk today. Lots of sunshine all day long. Temperatures getting quite mild into the upper 50s and will fall down to the lower 30s later on this evening. So you're going to want to bring in the plants as we'll have some frost. But check out the seven day forecast if you're heading out maybe to Detroit tomorrow to cheer on the Tigers. Will be a bit cooler, but mostly sunny skies will prevail all the way towards Saturday with warmer temperatures towards Easter Sunday.